Hello again, YouTube. And I'm back with some additional information for those that may want to try this. In order to test the proof or the percentage of your alcohol as, as far as from the ethanol that you produced, you're going to need some test equipment. And the primary uh, piece of equipment that you're going to need is something called a alcohol hydrometer. And this uh, hydrometer is a tool that will give you, that will allow you to test and find out the percentage of alcohol in your in your product and its proof, the al meaning the alcohol by volume, the percentage and the proof, and uh, you could buy this off of Amazon and and uh, various other places on the net. It usually comes with a case and a little cheat sheet or a little reference card that comes with it. Um, on one side of the hydrometer, you'll see the uh, alcohol percentage, and on the opposite side, you'll see the proof. The cheat sheet gives you the ability to, you know, to uh, test it and determine what the actual percentage is based on temperature, and etc. And also, what you're going to need is a test jar. Now, you can buy this test jar from Amazon or you know various other places. I bought a, a test jar before from Amazon, and it was kind of uh, cheap and cheesy, and it, it came to me cracked. So um, I got this one here from Mile High Distillers. It was cheap, maybe, I don't know, six bucks, six or nine bucks or something like that. But if you get a test jar, get a good one. And also some home, uh, home things you're going to need, uh, you know, a measuring cup. So just, you know, just so you can pour it inside of the uh, test jar and a nice little funnel, you know, kind of keep it, keep it from uh, making a mess. Now, when you put the uh, um, ethanol inside of the jar, it's a good idea to make sure that it's at least room temperature. It don't, make sure it's not hot because, again, it could give you false readings. So if it's at room temperature, let it, you know, if it's not, let it sit for a little bit and then let it get to room temperature and then you can put it in the test jar. Now, obviously, you don't want to fill it all the way up because you're going to set uh, this hydrometer on the inside. Now, once you put it on the inside, just gently uh, put it in there and, you know, put it all the way in there and kind of spin it just a little bit, just a little bit to get the bubbles out so that you won't get a, uh, an erroneous reading. And just simply let it go. It'll bob and float and you can see um, where it lands. Now this says, this is, you, and you won't be able to see this, but essentially this is it says on one side, it says 190 proof, 190 proof. Now, if I spin it around, you'll see on the other side, now you'll see, you know, right there, essentially that's 90%, but it's not 90%. It's actually 90, 95% ethanol. 95% ethanol, uh, uh, well, 95% of alcohol by volume, meaning, uh, not you, and if you take 95 and you make, and you multiply by two, you'll get a hundred, what is it? It's a like 190 proof. So it's a 190 proof. So at 95% ethanol, that means there's only five per, 5% water in this entire solution, 5% water. So what does that mean? That essentially means that that liquid is incredibly flammable, very flammable. Will it run in a car? Absolutely. Um, now, I do not drink this stuff. Um, it's like someone going out and drinking Everclear. I, I've actually um, heard, when I was in the military, I've heard of people drinking Everclear straight, and unfortunately, they died of alcohol poisoning, um, you know, uh, from sheer stupidity. It's, uh, it's sad, but it was stupid. But anyway, I, you know, I do not drink this stuff. But in any case, this is what I'm going to put in my vehicle. Um, I've already, uh, you know, uh, completed two jars uh, or two quarts of it so far. And, uh, but this stuff is, it's, it's, it's 5% from being 200% alcohol. So yes, with a still, <laughs> um, I, again, I bought my still from Mile High Distillers, and, um, you know, it's a good still. It's a good still. I wish it was bigger, uh, but so far, you know, so good. Okay, YouTube, hopefully this information, uh, you know, helps somebody out. All right, take care.